Welcome to another episode of training in Kenya. I hope you guys enjoy season two. It's gonna be fun. A lot of running, a lot of fast running. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, send it to your friends. And thank you so much. Alright, it's 5.40 a.m. We are somewhere in Iten and we're about to start a 30k long run uh, with a group that we haven't met yet. So let's see how that goes. I think it's going to be a little bit of uh, tarmac and dirt road and they're going 40 but I'm only doing 30 so that's good for me because I might not hammer that hard. Hopefully. So I don't know. I feel good. I'm ready to roll and see how this group treats me, see if they welcome me. I think they do, they will, because everyone in Kenya is always welcoming, but we're about to meet them, so we'll see. This time around, we wanted to try something different. We wanted to join big groups, because I wanted to train with them, I wanted to learn from them, I wanted to share an experience with them. <laughs> Forty kilometers. Yes. Three thirty. Three twenty-five. Three, two, How fast are these guys? Oh, damn. <laughs> they are world champions. <laughs> Most of them. There you have like 10, 10, 10 guys who have won any, some major marathon. Candy is the famous driver in E10. He works with a lot of the best runners in town. So he works with Julian Wonders, uh, with Petros, with uh, all the best coaches. He works with uh, Renato Canova. So he's very known in town for being the driver when you need somebody. And he's very smart, very fast. He finds whatever you need, he can find it for you. Anything that you need to do, he'll get it for you done. So he's a really cool guy, really fun to be around, very smart and was such a big help for us not only with the camp but with the month that we were there training he was our driver and he helped me connect with all these athletes with all these groups with all these coaches so it worked out really really well so these groups had anywhere from 40 to 100 people and for today we did a long run we started very early, uh, I think it was 5.30 in the morning, we met and I met the coach, I met the guys and they said alright, if you want to train with us, you can, they're always very welcoming, they're always happy to do it, happy to share, um, especially if there's cameras there, they love that uh, opportunity to get exposure. So the pace started fast. Uh, we ran from the gun 330s. For me it's kind of tricky because I didn't warm up so I mean I can do it it's just that it feels fast and I was very nervous about it but then the pace settled we were running 330s 325s because they have coaches that go some of them are running with us and others are in the matatus in the cars in the vans so they are telling us they give us a specific pace so they said between 320 and 330 and sometimes people are gonna try to run faster, and they do, but there's always somebody out there that tells them, hey, no, you gotta control the pace, go back down, and get into the 325, 330 range, which is something that happened a lot, but there was always somebody controlling it, so maybe it was one or two kilometers away a little too fast, and then we went back to the speed. It's pretty cool, pretty unique running with so many guys. It, you definitely feel connected to them and the energy goes around. So everybody's working really hard. Nobody's having a field day, you know, like we're working hard for our goals and dreams and everyone is out there just pushing, trying, trying to make it, trying to survive. And 
for some people it's harder than others, but everyone is out there trying their best and trying to make it. And you can share that and you can connect with other athletes that are doing the same as you. So it's an energy that helps you run faster. I mean, I ran 30 kilometers today and I felt really good. I felt great. And I think if I did this on my own, it would be a different story for sure. I will not be able to run those paces. I will not be able to feel that comfortable. So the energy, the group energy is something that makes a huge difference. Also, having uh, the Matatus there with you, giving you your hydration, your gels, your drinks, it makes a huge difference. We never stop, nobody stops. If you need to go to the bathroom, you stop and you will get left behind. That's a Kenyan rule. When you start running, you have to be ready to run for two hours non-stop. And if you have to stop, you need to figure out a way to just run fast to catch up. But having the Matatus there giving you the drinks makes a huge difference. Uh, we get our drinks every 5K. I'm drinking here water and Morton, um, which I get from the feed. And then it makes it so much easier just having somebody being like here, 5K. And you drink it, you give it back, you keep going. So you don't have to stop, you don't even have to think about it. And that makes a huge difference and makes my life so much easier. And the pace was progressive, it was steady. Of course, you go up and down. This route is called the Boston route because it has a lot of elevation gain and elevation changes. So, of course, if you're going up, the pace might go a little slower. When you're going down, the pace might go a little faster. I think the fastest of the day was at 3.13 and it was because we were going down. But when the coaches see that, they quickly say, hey, bring it back to 3.25 and people always listen to them. People always ask me, why do they start so early and why are they wearing so much clothes and what's the temperature? So they start early because they want to beat the sun, they want to beat the heat. It doesn't get that hot, but at 5, 6 in the morning you get the best temperatures. It's around 15 degrees Celsius, so around 55 uh Fahrenheit. So it's perfect running weather. It wasn't windy, it didn't rain, it was just... It was so nice, but they do want to start early and then that way, you know, at 8 a.m. you're done and you can go home and rest for the rest of the day or do whatever you have to do. So it just makes sense. It works for everybody. So this run was particularly hard because the last five kilometers was on a dirt road going up. So we were already going fast, we were already going long, but then to finish, they go uphill on a dirt road that is rocky and very difficult terrain. So it makes it a lot harder, but also makes it a lot more fun. And that's how, I mean, we are in Kenya to train hard and to get fit and to push hard. So that's what exactly what we're doing. So overall, the experience was great. And we got out exactly what we wanted from this experience, from running with these big groups. Dude, that was sick. 30K in 142 at 320 per K. I feel great the whole time I felt pretty good. 30k feeling strong, no problems whatsoever, and it was one of the coolest experiences of my life. Being in such a big group, feeling so comfortable, running at 320s, uh, up and down, dirt roads, it was sick. So happy to be here, I want to stay longer now. Thank you. That was good. Thank you, man. Thank you, my friend. Strong? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Strong. Yeah. I could have kept going, but I said nah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it was good that the other guys were going 40, so they were like controlling the pace, yeah, yeah, yeah. not going too fast. Too fast to I think like the fastest was 315, 310. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only but, going down. But you know, from there it could be really I was happy I was done. <laughs> Candy, the legendary driver. Couldn't have done it without you, man. Uh, thanks. <laughs> You're always welcome. Okay. This, is my, this is my forte, so we'll have to get good stuff. 
All right, we just finished a 30 kilometer long run. Uh, we just joined a big group. I think there was at the start like 40 people maybe. And some went 20K, some went 30, 25, and some went 30K. So the group got smaller and smaller and smaller. I went 30K and I felt great. This was the best I felt since I got here. Uh, the fastest K was 313 and the average was 324. So it was solid and the good thing is that I felt great. Like the paces were normal, but I felt great the whole time and I finished like nothing, like I could have gone 10K more. Happy that I didn't, ha didn't have to go 10K more, but I could have if I had to. So it felt really good, solid day in the office and an amazing energy with the big group, you know, like what they say that if you train with a group you feel good, it's so true. Like I felt like I was jogging and I, we were running 315s, 320s. So I can't complain with today, second long run uh, on this training camp. The first one I fe felt rough and this one I felt great. So I think we're moving in the right direction and very happy with today. And, excited for what's next. Thank you for watching another episode of Training in Kenya with Luis Orta. We hope you enjoyed this video. We made it with a lot of love and a lot of hard work. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll get a notification every time a new video is out. And don't forget to please like, share and comment. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. And remember more cool content is coming soon. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>